Hello guys, today I will be giving you the ultimate guide to creating a Minecraft SMP for completely free. Including anti-x-ray in both the overworld and nether, and preloaded chunks so that you can have a lag-free server, and lots of useful plugins that will make your server 10 times better. We will be using Eterno's server hosting for this, but you can use any server host you want. Start by creating a server and naming it whatever you want. Then go to the software tab and choose any version of paper bucket that you want. Now go to the files tab and open the server properties tab to access the advanced settings. Set the difficulty to normal or hard. And if you want players to be able to join using T launcher, then turn on cracked mode. Add a spawn protection of 10. Now that we are done with the settings, we can go ahead and start adding these plugins. The first plugin that we will add is Bed Regen. This plugin gives the player health regeneration while they are sleeping. The second plugin we will add is called Chunky. This plugin will preload chunks so that when new players are exploring, they won't be loading new chunks every time and causing the server to lag. To use this plugin, first, make sure your server is offline, then go to the Worlds tab and turn off the Optimize World option. This option deletes unloaded chunks and we don't want that because it can cause lag, but if your server ends up running out of storage, then you should turn it back on. Now when you are in your server you can use the slash chunky radius command to give it any size you want, a size if 500 will make it load chunks for 500 blocks on each side. You can choose any size you want. I recommend at least 1000 and keep in mind that the bigger the radius, the more time it will take so I suggest doing this step when no players are online because the server will lag while the chunks are loading. You can choose any shape you want. And to change where the chunk loading will start from you can use the slash chunky center command. I recommend setting the center to where the spawn area is. To start loading the chunks, simply use the slash chunky start command. You can check the progress at any time using the slash chunky progress command. If you check the progress and it says that there are no tasks running, that means it has finished loading the chunks. Here is me flying around before pre-loading the chunks. And here is me after. Then we will add the Essentials X plugin which should be present in every server because it provides you with more commands and new ways of writing them. The Graves plugin will spawn a grave every time a player dies which can store player items without making them despawn quickly and gives you a compass and the coordinates to find your grave. Now we will add a plugin called Better Teams. This plugin allows people to create teams, customize their color, and invite people to your team to start wars and alliances. Advanced Ban is also a plugin that every server should have, as it provides you with commands to ban, mute, ban IPs, kick, warn and you can do all these things for a temporary amount of time too. Skin Restorer fixes the issue of skins not showing up when using a cracked server. Authme Reloaded is the most necessary plugin if you are using a cracked server. This plugin adds a login system to prevent players from using your username and accessing your inventory and account. To register, use slash register and then enter the password you want twice. The next time you log in, use slash login and enter your password once. Simple TPA allows players to send you a teleport request and if you accept, they will be teleported to you. This is useful to minimize isolation in servers which can discourage new players from playing. Now let's set up our anti-x-ray. Start the server to let your world generate. When the server is on, you switch it off again. Now if you got to the files tab, you will see a lot of new server files. We will go to the config folder and open the paper world defaults.yml file. The first thing you see here is anti-x-ray. Set enabled to true. Engine mode to two. And in hidden blocks, add ancient debris, nether quartz ore, and nether gold ore. And in replacement blocks, add netherrack. 
Now we the world will be covered in fake blocks that hide the real ores and this is only visible to people with x-ray. Now the last step of running a server is getting players. The universal cheat code to getting players on Eternos is the Eternos server list. The link to it will be in the description. Simply click on create thread and enter the server information and watch players flood in. You can also use social media and Discord servers to promote your server and get long-term players. Eterno servers go offline when there are no players online. To make it so that people can join at any time you need to give the access to switch the server on through Eternos by going to the Access tab and adding their Eternos username. Make sure you only give them permission to start the server. To get players Eternos username, you can make a channel in your Discord server where people enter the Eternos username or a social media post where people can comment. And there you go you have your server, of course you can add any plugins you like and tweak the settings however you want and make your server unique to how you like it. And if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video to see more tutorials like this and help others find my videos. Goodbye.